Okay, I'm doing this with the Bayport Channel entrance light, um, also known to me as the Bayport Bird Rack, because, of course, birds set on these things out there all the time. Um, I wanted to do the Bayport Rack because it was 3.5 miles away, actually 3.59, and it's the closest one to me that I usually get a fairly good uh, visual on. But I wanted to put these videos together. Uh, which I went through 2022 and a little bit of 2023 um, finding the, the videos that I have from where I'm zooming in zooming out to this bird rack now I'm pretty much at the same height all the time um, so I, I mean it might vary a little bit due to uh, you know the tides going in and out whether I'm um, filming on a low tide or a high tide but um, I wanted to just show a lot of these videos um, because of the different appearances that I get from the Bayport rack. Um, multiple times I've been out there um, and you know at certain times you can't even see this rack. It is totally missing. Um, so again I'm not sure um, you know, people will understand that refraction is affecting this and refraction is what's also making it look like it's falling behind a curve. But you can also see in some of these, if you um, take the time out to pause it and look at it when I'm at full zoom, you'll see a uh, difference in the size a lot of times of the Bayport rack. Uh, I mean, it might be slight might be a little bit, it might be wider, it might be taller, but always get these different appearances as far as uh, size wise. Um, also you'll see that sometimes it's cut off, sometimes you can't even see it, like this particular one. Um, so this is the power that refraction has on something that's 3.5 uh, miles. I'm just going to say 3.5, three and a half miles away. Um, so if this can happen to an object that's at only 3.5 miles, what's happening to the objects that are beyond this? Like on that one particular day where you can hardly see it, or this one, um, you can't find many boats out there, even though I know boats are out there. There's always boats out here. Uh, so not unless there's a big storm or, you know, major wind with, you know, big, huge waves out there. But even then, you know, boats go out there, believe it or not. Um, but not many on those particular days. But as you can see, this, this day, it looks like it's cut off and the horizon looks like it's a lot closer. Plus, if you look at the water itself, you can tell that that is not the real water line. Now, some people might say, too, about my focus. Oh, you don't know how to focus a camera and all that stuff. And, and I got to tell you, it's not my focusing uh, because I can try to focus it all day long on this rack. And uh, I can't get any better than what I get. Uh, because I do try to focus it in, and, and no matter which way I go with the focus, uh, it, it's distorted. And this is just distortion, of course. But, if again, distortion can happen on um, an object that's only uh, three and a half miles away. What could it do um, to objects that are well beyond it? Like that boat. What if there was a boat beyond it? What would it appear like? Well, it would probably appear cut off or almost invisible, especially on the day where you could hardly see the rack. It just looked like a little nub sticking out there. Or how about this one where you get this uh, the mirroring effect where it's mirrored below it? Um, so where is the water that I would normally see when I see the entire rack? Um, or the water beyond it when I see water beyond this rack or boats beyond this rack 
and you can't tell me I haven't because I do have better videos and even some good pictures on in the evenings um, and I have, I have put out other uh, videos where I've sat there and filmed this thing for an hour if not longer and then just put all the videos in uh, uh, at 10 times the speed and made just a uh, short video out of it um, so you could go back and look at some of them what I will too also put in the description is the Hernando County uh, waterway uh, website and you can go and look at the, the website to see uh, where the Bayport channel entrance light uh, is located its coordinates um, I am filming in Florida I filmed from uh, Pine Island uh, Park um, it's a nice little park um, it's not huge but I mean it's a good sized park um, sometimes they do get full can't find a parking spot um, but all these videos I mean you can see how some days the clarity of it is much more clear um, other days it's uh, distorted or faded out or in, a, in like a mist um, I'm not sure if I put any of those in but you know for six seven years that I've been filming this um, I have to say that um, even the distortion um, really I mean I, I went out yesterday and I, I should put that in this film but I, I won't um, I, I might do something separate on that I don't know um, but um, it was almost it looked like it was being blown away by the distortion I mean you could see it kind of form and then it would just kind of like melt and then come back and melt and even the islands that I film in Hernando Beach um, <laughs> were very barely visible where many many times I've been out there on a clear nice clear visible day and you could see um, the entire string of islands uh, from the channel and what it is is where they dredged the channel out they created some islands and yeah and some of them islands mangroves have grown uh, other plants have grown up in there um, but it, um, those are a lot of times very visible and then all of a sudden they disappear and I know it's not the curve changing but that's you know what these glow people will say because they say well you know, if you go up higher you see a little further well yeah that happens over a flat surface too I'm sorry to tell them uh, <laughs> because of your angle of uh, resolution um, you're only going to be able to see so far at a certain height on a flat surface or whether it's a curved surface but there's no way possible do I believe that I am if I go up higher that I'm actually looking over a curve because I've even gone up higher on top of the uh, little there's a little uh, observation deck here it's only about three three and a half feet high um, and still on a bad day you cannot see the islands now look at this you, you obviously see uh, water beyond this boat or bird rack uh, and a boat beyond it um, and, and I did I did like a double video on this particular shot because I wanted to show that the, the water is visible even though it looked a little strange and then when I zoom in on it look how it almost looks like it's not there because it's matching perfectly with the sky above the color wise so you know when you people say well where's the water beyond it well there it is and there's even more beyond it but it, it, obviously you can't see it like in this uh, I mean everything's just uh, it's it, it, I, I don't want to say whitewashed this is uh, uh, red washed or orange washed but sometimes it's whitewashed <coughs> so really in my opinion this is just uh, the, the water is just mirroring the sky above and, and you have no idea 
or you can't even reference where the horizon truly is. And that happens most of the time. Why? Because of my angular resolution. Um, visibility. And, and this is what gets me. When I have great visibility, um, I can see the power plant uh, 27.6 miles away and actually see lights in the parking lots or lights somewhere up there that looks like a parking lot. Um, I can see pretty much most of the uh, stacks right down to, to the ground. Um, <laughs> but yet on a bad day, I can't see them at all. Bad day of visibility. And again, you know, right here, where's the water beyond it? Well, it's, there's a haze. That haze is blocking you out. It acts like a curtain, stops you from seeing it. So you're, you're not going to see it. Also, and I'm going to put a link to this too, and not, not only the description, but I'll put it in a link comment, um, where, You'll get, uh, oh, what was I going to put? A video where a guy's using a fish tank. Um, now, B Flat showed me this video, and it certainly does show exactly what we're saying that refraction causes a fake curve, it displaces things below the horizon, not above the horizon. Or it brings the horizon up higher, which blocks out the the further part of the horizon. There's there's two things that this can happen, and sometimes it happens one way or happens the other. But either way, your horizon is being blocked out by these uh, refractive properties that's occurring due to our weather conditions. And there you go is how you get your visibility. And uh, <laughs> I, I have to be honest, too. I'm not six feet up. My camera's at 30 inches. Now, I'm not right at the water on these. I am up on a seawall um, in my little corner that I always go to. And I don't care if people believe whether I'm at, at a, a, high, a low perspective or not. It doesn't matter to me. I know where I'm at, and I know where I'm, my camera's setting, and I know how high my camera's setting up. So I'm not going to worry about naysayers. Um, now, this is an instance where uh, the water is actually being uh, displaced upward, distorted actually upward is what I like to call it, but it gives you a false horizon. <laughs> it, it, it does give you a false horizon. And that's the problem with refraction, is it only gives you uh, an apparent horizon. But is that apparent horizon always correct? No. Why? Because I don't think we can see as far as we, uh, we should be able to anyhow due to refraction. Refraction bending everything down or ramping things up. Because how would I see this mirror out in front of uh, the Bayport rack unless that mirror was tilted up? So right here is getting a mirroring effect and that mirror is on a tilt and it's caused by the atmosphere or I shouldn't even say atmosphere. I should say it's caused by the weather conditions. And all you have to do is go out there and uh, film something for over a year's time. And you can see all of these diverse or different effects that occur with your own eyes. Do your own studies. Do your own research. Do your own observations. Thanks for watching.